Hi there, I am going to explain one of my favorite practice techniques at home. This is a practice technique that if you use it frequently, you will make amazing progress in your practice because you're really going to focus in with laser-like focus on just a little bit of the song. And I call this technique video game practicing. So to be able to start this um, video game practicing, you need to have some colored pencils because we are going to mark our music and um, you need at least two different colors. You can have more, just depending on the parts of your song that you need help with. And um, it doesn't have to be the whole song at once. Uh, whatever you've been assigned for that week, you can employ video game practicing. I'm going to use a piece um, called Skate Park as an example. So uh, the kids in this class have already learned this page and we have a new section here that they were having troubles with. So if you can see on my music, I have used my colored pencils to color and shade in two measures at a time. So I have this measure and this measure that I've boxed in and I've colored in purple. And then I have two measures here that I've colored yellow. And if you wanted to use a different color at this point, you absolutely could. But I've gone back to purple here and here, and then yellow here and here. And this is the section that this particular class needed to work on so that they could conquer this section. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna treat each of your boxes, each of your colored boxes as a level. And just like video game, uh, video gaming, when you learn a new video game, uh, you have to make mistakes. That there's really no video game that you play and you can just play from the beginning to the end without making a mistake, without losing your lives, without you know getting your level ups or whatever. So. First, the first thing I want you to realize is like making mistakes helps you learn better, especially if you're doing it mindfully. If you're thinking about what you're doing, then it will help you learn so much faster. So you are going to pick your first level and this first level is purple. And to be able to pass off the purple level, you need to be able to play the notes in those two measures five times in a row without making a mistake, okay? Now, that sounds kind of daunting, but it actually goes a lot faster than you think it will. Take your time. I am more concerned about you playing the notes correctly than I am that you play them fast. So it, the first time or two should be, and probably will be, kind of slow. You're gonna start nice and slow, making sure every single note is played correctly and it has the correct note value. That means if it's a half note, you're gonna hold it for ta too, and you're not gonna rush through that. You're just gonna hold it and play it in the time that it's supposed to be played, okay? So um, <clears throat> when you can do that five times in a row, then you can move on to the next level. Now let's say that you are playing this and you've, had, you've done it twice, and now you need to do your third time and you're halfway through the third time and all of a sudden you make a mistake, you lose your lives and you have to start back over again, okay? Just like a video game. There is power in repetition and there's things that you can learn from your mistakes. So just take a deep breath and start over again, okay? Five times in a row, you can level up. So if I've done this five times in a row, then I can move on to my next section, and this is my yellow level. And I'm gonna practice the notes in my yellow boxes. I may want to play through them a time or two before I start going for my five in a row, and that's fine. So um, when you're ready, start with every single note, make sure it's correct, that you're playing the right notes as they're found on the keyboard, and that you are holding all of the notes for the proper length and duration. And when you can do this five times in a row, then you can level up. Now, music is a little bit different than a video game. If you wanted to, you could continue doing all of the levels in sequential order. But I like to do a stitching process halfway through. So we did the purple box and now we're gonna do the yellow box. Because it's music and it's a little bit more linear and it's supposed to all be connected, I like the next level to be the level one and level two combined. Okay, because you've just spent time on level one, you've just spent time on level two, you've passed them both off, now put them together, okay? So you would start here and you would play all the way to here five times without making a mistake, okay? And then you would continue, and it doesn't have to be all in the same day either. If all you're able to do is level one, level two, level three on one day, great, that's fantastic. If all you're able to do is level one, 
that's fine too. You've made some really good progress and it will be easier when you play that again. So um, if you do a little bit, little bit by little bit throughout the week, um, you will have a song learned by the end of the week. Now, if you are younger, I'm gonna say if you're in elementary school, you may find it helpful to have a parent sit on the bench with you and help you keep track of how many lives that you have. By putting up a finger every single time you play one of your levels correctly, okay? Then you don't have to pay attention to what number I'm on and get all frustrated about that. Let somebody else do that piece for you and when you get five, make sure you give them a high five, okay? Because then you gotta have a little have celebration. So, um, this is a wonderful technique for practicing and learning a piece quickly, and it will be a great toolbox or a tool in your practicing toolkit that you can employ over and over again throughout your piano life. I hope this was helpful. Talk to you later. Bye bye.